Hello, it's um, Ben here from the History Fair channel. Um, here today with something new. Um, I've found some new software on my um, Chromebook that will, um, which will allow me to do some reaction videos. So um, I thought I'd start off with my favourite uh, comedy of all time. Um, that's the historical comedy uh, Blackadder. Now there was four series which were shown in the air back in the 1980s but um this is from the fourth series fourth fourth series um which is probably my favorite one um i shall probably try not to um stop the video too much throughout the video it's only about four or five minutes long um but hopefully you'll enjoy it and you'll see some of the um, some of the situations that they kind of make fun of. Certainly this one's about um, the incompetence of the military leaders at the time during World War I. Um, some of the actors that um, you're going to see are Rowan Atkinson, um, which many will have seen some of his movies, um, like Mr Bean, um, that sort of thing. There's, I think there was one recently involving a bee. Um, and also um, Tim McHenry, um, he's a British actor. And also Stephen Fry, um, who plays the Colonel. Um, he's appeared in a number of uh, American TV series. And also, I think towards the end of the video, you'll also see Hugh Laurie, who played House in the American TV series House. So um, let's get on with the um, the video. wants to see you about a highly important secret mission. What's going on, darling? Captain Clackadder to see you, sir. Ah, excellent. Just a short back and side today, I think, please. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> That's Corporal Black, sir. Captain Blackadder is here about the other matter, sir, the secret matter. Ah, yes, the special mission. At ease, Blackadder. Now, what I'm about to tell you is absolutely tip-top secret. Is that clear? It is, sir. Now, I've compiled a list of those with security clearance. Have you got it, darling? Yes, sir. Read it, please. It's top security, sir. I think that's all my captain needs to know. <laughs> Judge Judge, let's hear the list in full. Very well, sir. List of personnel cleared for Mission Gainsborough, as dictated by General C.H. Melcher. You and me, darling, obviously. <laughs> Field Marshal Haig, Field Marshal Haig's wife, all Field Marshal Haig's wife's friends, their families... Their family servants, their family servants' tennis partners, <laughs> and some chap I bumped into in the mess the other day called Bernard. So, it's maximum security, is that clear? <laughs> Quite clear, sir. Only myself and the rest of the English-speaking world is to know. Good man. Now, Field Marshal Haig has formulated a brilliant new tactical plan to ensure final victory in the field. Ah, would this brilliant plan involve us climbing out of our trenches and walking mm. very slowly towards the enemy, sir? How could you possibly know that, Blackadder? It's classified information. <laughs> it's the same plan that we used last time. Um, this is one of the most well-known facts of World War One is that um, the, the military leaders just used to send all these soldiers and men just over the top and running off towards the German lines many many times and um it was just catastrophic because as soon as they were getting out of the trench they were being shot and killed and uh, it's just staggering really and the 17 times before that it, it, exactly and that is what is so brilliant about it it will catch the watchful hung totally off guard Doing precisely what we've done 18 times before is exactly the last thing they'll expect us to do this time. There is, however, one small problem. That everyone always gets slaughtered in the first 10 seconds. Mm. That's right. And Field Marshal Haig is worried that this may be depressing the men attached. <laughs> He's looking to find a way to cheer them up. Well, his resignation and suicide would seem the obvious. <laughs> Interesting thought. Make a note of it, darling. Take a look at this. I'm sure you know it. King and 
and country. Ah, yes. Without question, my favorite magazine. Soft, strong, and thoroughly absorbent. <laughs> Top old black adder. I thought it would be right up your alley. <laughs> <laughs> Field Marshal Haig's plan is this to commission a man to do an especially stirring painting for the cover of the next issue so as to really inspire the men for the final push. What I want you to do, Black Adder, is to labor night and day to find a first rate artist from amongst your men. Impossible, sir. I know from long experience that my men have all the artistic talent of a cluster of colorblind hedgehogs. <laughs> in a bag. Mm. Well, that's a bit of a blur. We needed a man to leave <laughs> the trenches immediately. Leave the trenches? Mm. Yes. I wonder if you've enjoyed, as I have, sir, that marvellous painting in the National Portrait Gallery, Bag Interior, by the colourblind hedgehog workshop of Sierra. I'm sorry, are you saying you can find us a man? I think I can, and might I suggest, sir, that having left the trenches, it might be a good idea to post our man to Paris in order to soak up a little of the artistic atmosphere, perhaps even Tahiti, I don't know, <laughs> so as to produce a real masterpiece. Yes, yes, but can you find the man? Now I know I can, sir. Before you can say sunflowers, I'll have Vincent van Gogh standing before you. <laughs> No, don't, don't stop, sir. It's coming. It's definitely coming. I... Yeah. <laughs> I just wonder whether two socks and a hand grenade is really the sort of thing the covers of King and Country are made of. There will be when I've painted them being shoved up the Kaiser's backside. <laughs> ah, now, now, this is interesting. What is? Well, Private Baldrick is obviously a bit of an impressionist. The only decent impression he can do is of a man with no talent. <laughs> What's it called, Baldrick? The Vomiting Cavalier. <laughs> I just love um, watching Black Adaka. I might not be sat here watching, um, laughing hilariously because that, the reason for that is because I've watched these uh, episodes hundreds and hundreds of times. If someone said to me, you know, you can't watch television any longer or except for just watching Black Adder, I'd happily do that. But uh, it's just brilliant, and um, the, some of the comedy is just great. It um, draws in influences of what actually really happened and then tries to adapt it and write it, um, obviously for comedy sort of thing. But um, one of the sayings of the soldiers that served in the First World War is that they they always said that they were led by donkeys because um, things were... Um, directed and run so badly that you know although it does a, do a disservice to donkeys because they're quite an intelligent animal really but um yeah they used to say that the commanders were all donkeys and unfortunately the soldiers were all being led by donkeys but um other than that i hope you enjoyed it um i shall probably do um a few more reaction videos see how it goes certainly some black adder ones maybe some of the other series as well or even the episodes other than that thank you very much for watching and i shall see you again very soon with some more videos <laughs>